Hey guys, welcome back to Topher Drives. Today we're in the 2022 Lexus LC500 convertible. We have plenty of content on this car for all of the other channels that I contribute to, but I have no content of this car here on my personal channel, and this is my idea of the perfect grand touring car. So I thought today I'd take you guys for a little bit of a drive around Plano, Texas. We're at the Toyota headquarters today, and I want you guys to hear, feel, experience what this LC500 is like from my point of view, because this, I think, I'm almost positive that this is my favorite car on sale today. And I've never actually driven the convertible LC500. I've driven five or six hardtop cars, but I've never driven a convertible. So I'm really looking forward to uh, sharing that experience with you today. I've got my earmuffs so we can roll top down on the drive. Um, but before anything, let's go ahead and put the roof down. So they actually hide the location um, for the roof controls just to make everything look nice and clean in here and you open this up and it's just a little switch right here and it's completely power top you don't have to do anything but hold this switch whole operation happens pretty quickly as well Cool, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a walk around of this LC500. Just, if you're unfamiliar with the car, you're able to see what it looks like from the outside. This one is just finished in silver, but I think that's okay. It's just such a gorgeous machine. I mean, when the LC Concept came out, I saw it and I just thought that is the most stunning car I've ever seen. And then the production car came out and it looked just like the Concept. And I just, it's just everything I've ever wanted. The taillights are holographic. Probably can't really see it on camera, but they look like they go on forever in there, and it's so freaking awesome. I do think the hardtop car looks a little bit better because you miss the really, really cool roof line that you get on that car with the convertible, but I'd still go for the convertible because all that sky and all that exhaust note from the five liter naturally aspirated V8 that's under the hood of this LC500. So let's go out for a drive, experience this car in its raw form, and see what it's like. I know what it's like, but, and you probably do too, but just sit back, relax. I'll probably keep the talking to a minimum. We're just gonna go out for a drive and have some fun today. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the earmuffs so I don't uh, destroy you guys with wind noise. And we're starting out in full sport plus mode because why would you do it any other way? I believe this interior color is called toasted caramel or something like that. Whatever it's called, it's absolutely stunning. And I know it looks really good on camera too. So let's go ahead and take this thing out for a drive. I'm going straight into manual and sport plus mode because that is the only way to drive an LC500. noises this thing makes are just next level. Let's see if we can bounce the sound off this bridge here. <laughs> yes! I don't really want to get arrested in Texas, but I think they like V8s down here, don't they?
one of the reasons I know that oh, one of the reasons I know that I'm just destined to own this car is because the horsepower number 471 consists of my three lucky numbers four seven and one so it's just the perfect car for me oh, it's a little hot in here Texas Sun is no joke Yes. How are they allowed to produce this? If I ever come to power, this will be what every car sounds like. I've got one of those baby vomit yellow M3s next to me. Oh, here we go. that. This is just the best car in the world. <laughs> and from a company like Lexus, you just don't expect something like this. I know this car has been out for a while, so it's not a surprise, but every time I get in one of these, it just lifts my mood. And it's all I want in the world is this car. This car and the Mercedes S580. And I'd be set.
that's interesting. That sign makes cop lights when you're speeding. Interesting scare tactic there. The only downside with the LC500 is when you do have to adjust any of your like climate settings or anything, it's just the most complicated thing in the world. Like, how do I turn on my air conditioned seat? Well, you have to click menu, then go into this menu, and then you have to use the touchpad to swipe up, and then you can turn your cooled seat on. Not the most ideal thing in the world, but for this car, I won't complain. Amazing how much the exhaust just echoes. Like, oh, are you kidding me? I seriously think that if someone asked me, you can only have one car that has to do everything you want. You can have one car, and it has to be a new car that's on sale today. I would have a red LC500 convertible with this colored interior. That's how much I love this thing. Seriously, I really, really love it. I mean, you can just play this 5 liter V8 like an instrument. With my right foot and both hands, I can just play this thing <laughs> like the most glorious sounding instrument in the world. Pull a first gear downshift? Yes, we can. I have no idea where I am right now, but that's okay because I'm in my special favorite car. Is someone crossing? No, they're not. to deploy the map. It's very perilous to do if you do drive an LC500. To do anything except drive, you have to use the infotainment. Toy you like to go? Toyota, Toyota headquarters. Getting directions to Toyota. last bridge and then we'll take her back to the HQ and uh, we'll wrap up the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, hanging out with me in this LC500. I know I didn't really talk much but uh, it's almost a crime to do too much talking when you're driving one of these cars. You really just have to soak it in and um, I do truly believe that this car has a spirit. It's one of the most spiritual and soulful cars on the market today. And um, yeah, I'm so happy Lexus makes this thing. I'm gonna cry when they stop making it. I know it'll come soon, just because it has a V8, but we'll live in the moment, enjoy this one right now, and uh, we'll wrap up soon.
Cool guys. Well, uh, thanks for coming along on a ride with me today in my favorite car on sale. I'll have more normal content uh, on the ML55, the E46, all my personal cars here soon for you. Go ahead and uh, lose the earmuffs so you can hear me a little bit better. That's been it. Um, if you have the means, buy an LC500 because if I had 100 grand laying around, this is what I would buy. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next video. If you haven't already, subscribe. And yeah, I'm really bad at ending videos. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys. Take care.